All right, so now welcome to the Adele song, Someone Like You. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to break this down into smaller sections. Um, the song itself is not that difficult. It's in the key of A. So before we move on and do anything else, let's just play our A major scale. That's always a good idea. Whatever key you're in, make sure you know the major scale. So the A major scale is A, B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp, G sharp, A. And notice I'm using fingers one, two, three, I cross underneath, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. And then one thing I also want to mention is if you're an advanced level player, you might want to skip to the uh, 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 last um, uh, section of this lesson, like some of the last few chapters. That's where I'm going to do more of the analysis kind of stuff. These first few chapters, I'm just going to uh, speak more to the beginner intermediate and go a little bit slower so you can get down the song. Okay, all right, so that's the A major scale. Just practice that going up and down. The song starts, the basic, the four chords at the beginning of the song are an A chord. I'm just going to play them just so you can see them. So A, and then A with G sharp in the bass. Did I say bass? G, G sharp in the bass. <laughs> F sharp minor, and then to D. Right? Now, some of these are in inversion. A major is that's root position. A over G sharp. And there's really no uh, inversions for slash chords. Right? They are what they are. Okay. This is F sharp minor in first inversion, and this is D major in second inversion. Notice I'm using one, two, and four. You can also use one, three, and five. All right, whatever feels more comfortable to you. Okay. So the first thing to do is just start with that right hand. It's about that tempo. Okay, all right, so now let's just do the right hand by itself. The left hand is actually pretty easy. So it's the, notice I can do one, two, and four for my fingering, or one, three, and five. Don't do one, two, and three. Okay, please don't do that. That's, that's not a very good fingering for your triads. Okay, so one, two. Notice how I'm accenting that A, so it's one and two and three and four. Two, two, three and four. One and two and three and four and two and two and three and four. And then we go to the F sharp minor, right? This one. One and two and three and Then to D major. One and two. Okay? So what I want you to do is you just try the right hand with me. We're just going to do one chord at a time. Let's just do the A chord. I'm going to play some left hand down here for you, okay? Let's just do that A chord. Just do it over and over with me. Ready? Go. One and See how I'm keeping my arm loose, just moving that elbow around? Now A over G sharp. So just move that thumb down. One more time. Let's go to the F sharp minor. Major. See the finger I'm using here? One, two, and four. And the F sharp minor is one, two, and five. D major is one, two, and four. Also notice how I'm not doing this. See, I'm not holding these notes down. I just, as soon as I go to the next one, I lift the one I was just on. Sorry. A over G sharp, F sharp minor, to D major. In the left hand, I'm just playing octaves. So A, G sharp, F sharp, D. If you want to bring the D up here and play the root 5 and root, you can do that, or play it down here, whichever you want. 
wouldn't put the fifth in there down there though because it's a little too low. Here it's kind of muddy. So A, G sharp, F sharp, D. Okay? So now try just the left hand while I do the right hand. Here we go. Ready? Go. G sharp. F sharp. Down to D. Make sure, you, make, sure you don't, make sure you don't emphasize that too much. I'm not a singer. <laughs> Alright, but you get the idea. I heard that, you know, you know how time flies, okay? So it's like that whole section right there, you know. All right, now just to make sure you got it again, A major, triad, A over G sharp, one, three, and five, still for fingers, so one, three, and five, one, three, and five, one, two, and five, and I do one, two, and four, you could do one, three, and five, whatever's most comfortable to you. One, three, and five is probably more of the classical approach. I'm so used to keeping fingers open up here, so I like to use one, two, and four. It really depends upon your hand. If, if you find that one, two, and four is too much of a stretch, then do one, three, and five. It's also a good exercise to move in between those different fingerings. Try one, two, and four, and try one, three, and five. See, the nice thing about one, three, and five is, see how that pinky is right there? Check out from the F sharp minor. Pinky. Pinky's still there. Okay, so that's the uh, first first section. So play that, practice it slowly. When you feel comfortable, move on to the next section.